Look, my royal subjects. And I mean all of you, because soon you will all bow down and worship my greatness. Because I, King Julian, am leaving my own magnificent kingdom and coming to you. But wait, this is no way for my royal adventure to begin. Maurice, roll back. Take it to when my wonderful brain had the idea to give myself to the entire world. Aha! Yeah! Remember these incredible freaks? Yes! It is the giants from New York! Ah, uh, who could forget them? And please, tell me, because I have been trying to forget. Anyway, it all started there when they decided to leave their sad and pitiful home and set sail on a great adventure to find me. That's right, King Julian. Look, I am so handsome! Right away, Mr. Alex developed a taste for the great outdoors and for scaring off the stinky pooses, which was all right by me. But since the giant freaks loved me so much, I decided it was selfish to just stay here in my wonderful kingdom. I, King Julian, being only one of me, would share my magnificence with all of you, and it would all start with little Mr. Alex. Wake up, Mr. Alex. Wakey, wakey, eggs and steaky. Oh, no. I'm having that dream again. Ah, this is no dream, my friend. King Julian is alive and well and taking pictures for our new brochure, Madagascar. Why not give King Julian your vacation money? Yeah, sure. Sounds great. But I need to catch some shut-eye before the big trip back to New York. No! No shut-eyes! Now run, jump, do whatever I tell you to do if you want to make the cover. Okay, so the very first picture I want is you catching butterflies. Catch the butterfly! Oh, there we go! Look at that cute Nice! You are getting good at this, Mr. Butterfly Catcher. Yes, yes, move it! Way to go, Alex! Melman, where did you come from? And how did you get on top of that boulder? None of these questions have anything to do with pictures I want to take, so I suggest you stop talking and we move on. Hey, can I come with you guys? I have some... <laughs> yes, yes, that is the spirit, Melman. Now let us proceed forward. Yoo-hoo! Alex! Over here, poster boy! Now, you must get ready to grab these very handsome King Julian coins scattered throughout the island. Besides just the general warm feeling that wealth gives you, these coins can be used to buy merchandise at the duty-free shop. How do I get to the duty-free? I'll show you later. Now double jump to grab this coin and hurry! The camera loves you! Everyone else loves me, but the camera loves you. Whoa, Marty! You've got some serious wheels there. You don't know this, but I've been scoffing down carrots day and night. Crunch, 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 in an effort to develop a super fast sprint ability. Go ahead, buddy. Clock me. Oh, you're pretty fast, Marty, but I bet you can't catch me! Come on now, Mart. Ain't no way a little squirt can outrun a thoroughbred like me. Many things about Mort do not make sense, and one is that he can run like the wind. Why don't you two give us a spectacular race? Go! Ready? Set? Oh, this is too exciting! Go! Congratulations! I knew Mort would lose. Now the winner gets to kick his favorite soccer ball. Hey! Quiet, you. So, Marty, 
some of my careless Lima subjects found a royal stash of balloons and are now stuck floating in the air like topes. Will you please pop the balloons and rescue them? Bonus balloon! <laughs> oh, happy accident! Thank you, Mr. Marty! You are my hero! Nice job, Marty. Now stand back and watch how it's supposed to be done. What are you trying to say, Alex? I ain't got no game? No, I'm saying that you don't have any game. Okay, okay. You angry giants can trash speak on the soccer field. But now, I need some more photos of Alex. Yes. Yes, you have... My royal rocks! Put them down, fancy chickens! Please, scare those cuckoo birds away from my beloved rocks! Now! Oh, Miss Gloria, I have just been made aware of a very strange and ridiculous situation. Have you seen your friend Mailman? Uh, isn't that Mailman hanging from the ledge? Mailman! Oh, thank goodness you are here! We need you and your heli-gliding abilities! It is a matter of utmost importance. Utmost importance? Are you sure you want me for the job? Yes, as you can see, many of my royal subjects are currently floating in mid-air when they really should be on the ground licking my toes. We need you to glide around and rescue them. Kick the bonus balloon! Bonus balloon! <laughs> Melvin, you saved their lives! Now let us move on and never speak of floating lemurs again. Go with me this way. Come, come, Melvin. There is still much to do. Marty, this is your last warning. You'll never be able to score a goal with me in the box. That's why they used to call me the wall. Who? Who used to call you the wall? You never even played soccer. You were calling it land foosball five minutes ago. It's the same basic principle, Marty. You kick the ball, you block the ball, you spin around in somersaults. Guys, guys, please. As far as I'm concerned, you're both full of it. So why don't you stop talking and play?
Kick the bonus balloon! Kick the bonus balloon! Melvin, you saved their lives! Now let us move on and never speak of floating lemurs again. Go with me this way. Come, come, mailman. There is still much to do. Marty, this is your last warning. You'll never be able to score a goal with me in the box. That's why they used to call me the wall. Who? Who used to call you the wall? You never even played soccer. You were calling it land foosball five minutes ago. It's the same basic principle, Marty. You kick the ball, you block the ball, you spin around in somersaults. Guys, guys, please. As far as I'm concerned, you're both full of it. So why don't you stop talking and play? You're quite good, Mr. Marty. But now I want to play a full game of soccer. I will pick a teammate that will even things out. Boy! Sure, bring it on, little man. Tell us how to play. And just to show you how confident we are, I'll barely listen. Well, I won't even give you an explanation then. Thanks to all who helped make this brochure. Now one last picture of us, and it's off to the printer. Well, that covers everything on the agenda. Right, Maurice? Sir, don't we have to load the plane, fly the giants home, and have all sorts of misadventures? This always happens when I don't write things down. Oh, my goodness! Explosions again! Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the jungle! Boom! Not safe. Look, sir! It's a mole! And he's stealing parts of the plane! Well, of course he is, Morris. What else do you expect them all to do? They have very boring lives. But don't we need those parts for the plane to actually fly us back to New York? Hmm. That is a good point. And I have a good idea. You, mailman! Are you going to be the one to stop those moles from stealing our parts? Ah, uh, it's Melman. All right, Melman. Here we go. Just use your head bash move to knock those moles into next week before they escape with the parts. of moles are not going to respond to your head bash. Use your spin attack move to try to bump them off.
<laughs> okay, okay. Now's the time when it gets really wacky. On some walls, you can use only the spin attack, while on others, you can only use the headband. Let the madness begin! No effect! Thank goodness you're here. I feel a favor coming on. It's this luggage. King Julian has a tendency to overpack. Stuff he doesn't even need, like hay. Who packs hay? And now I can't even get these suitcases closed. Lucky for you, I know just how to deal with it. I've got a butt bounce move that will shut those things, but good. Why, thank you very much, Miss Gloria. Your butt has saved my precious hay. Now I still need to load my suitcases onto the plane. Luckily, I have found the perfect man for the job. He means me, Mort. Why, yes, it is Marty. Mort, I am not even sure why you are still standing there. Mr. Marty, why don't you use that big, sturdy kick of yours to start loading the luggage? Round one. Better watch out for round three.
Let's hope nobody notices those dents and hoof marks all over their suitcase. Nice going, Marty. I'm heading topside now. Come on up when you're ready. <laughs> Okay, mailman. I now would like you to use your amazing climbing abilities. I don't have any amazing climbing abilities, and the name is Melman, not Mailman. I'm pretty sure it's Mailman. The one that can do all of the climby flippy business. I think you're talking about me. Well, whoever I'm talking about, please get up to those platforms and help secure those ropes. Alex, just tie the ropes together quickly so I'm not stuck down here with a guy who keeps trying to buy stamps off me. These tiny ribbons will help you find a way. balancing on this beam. Unless you fall off, to avoid this tragic scenario, push left or right to balance yourself as you walk. The faster you walk, the faster you lose balance. the ropes we need you to tie. Now please repeat the patterns to tie the knot. Repeat the patterns to tie the knot. Don't repeat what I just said. Repeat the button patterns below, you crazy kitty. <laughs> These ropes were tied wrong. Try tying them right and we'll be in business. Not tying right there is what that is. That is it, Mr. Alex. A knot to be proud of. But there are more knots in need of your handiwork. Go find them. I was just telling this rope that you're going to tie it into a big, fat, incredible knot. The rope didn't respond with excitement, but do it anyway. Excellent knotting. Now all of the ropes are secure. It is a pity your friend Mailman is not here to see your major accomplishment. Where did he go? Melman will never have a smooth takeoff without a smooth runway. And we'll never have a smooth runway with those rivets sticking up. We need you to pound them down. Uh, I'm still a little dizzy and nauseous from the mole experience. Well, this ought to fix you right up then. All you need to do is use your head, or use your head, or use your head. Why do you keep repeating that? It's called a hint, Einstein. You need to use your head bash ability. Press the special button near a rivet and you'll see what I mean. Isn't as painful as I imagined a thousand times. 
times before I started. I suppose I should warn you not to try this at home. Well, unless you're a giraffe with a head bash. Thank goodness you are here. I cannot tell you how important it is that we test out the aiming system on this slingshot. That important, huh? I said I cannot tell you how important it is. I wish your giant freaks would listen. Anyway, before we launch the plane, we need to make sure our aiming system works, and to do that, you need to shoot Mort from this slingshot. Me? There is no one else I trust to be flung through the air at such high and dangerous speed. Yay! <laughs> oh, this is a dream come true for me, not more. Indeed, I could watch that over and over and over and... Playtime is over, pal. We gotta get these vines in locked position. We are ready to launch the plane. Well, I suppose there are only so many times we can shoot Mort out of a tree before it loses its meaning. But how will you get these vines stretched all the way back? I can help you out with that, provided you have some peppers. We do. I'll have my most steady throwing subject toss them. But I warn you, he's not so steady. in position, we're prepared for launch. Let's blow this popsicle stand. I suppose you would like to know what happened next on my adventure. How greedy you are. I know you are loving it. Well, so far, my plan was working perfectly. Mr. Alex and the other freaks were on board, while Maurice and I and some friends were enjoying the kingly first-class accommodations in the rear of the aircraft. But then, the unexpected happened. I am sure that Mort had something to do with it. Imagine our surprise. Well, their surprise anyway. I thought it was one of the thrills of my lifetime. But alas, the fun could not last. And soon, we were touching down ever so gently. It was time for one more great adventure. Yeah! <laughs>